crypto news is happening while I'm having lunch and I gotta share it with you. Are XRP and the alts gonna enjoy any success from the BTC ETF? David Schwartz, CTO from Ripple Labs, is defending the massive stash of XRP as big names out there call for the burn. We've also got a project on Soul Rugged, but was the name foreshadowing the rug? And I went to a grand opening of a jewelry display. Oh my gosh, I will have that video linked at the end. It was freaking amazing. Seriously, the jewelry display was amazing. I spent hours there and some of these pieces were tens and tens of thousands of dollars. Amazing stuff. Ashish Ahmed said, I used to hold 100,000 XRP and XLM. Thank God I realized how stupid I was six months back. Now I literally 4 x my money on a bunch of low market cap tokens. Bull did not start yet. All the XRP XLM clowns keep selling some mysterious pump and stump story. Generational wealth. I used to be an XRP fan. Don't be a fan of the token. It's a deadly mistake. Here's what he says. I, I, I do like this part. We're here to make money. XRP is not going to cost more than $3. Don't hold on to this stupid coin. We're going to talk about it because specifically David Joelcat Schwartz is out here defending what Ripple Labs is doing with XRP. And it's got a lot of people's attention and a popular account on Twitter. A one-time pro account on Twitter has now flipped. And not that they're flipped for just being flipped. It's they're peeling back the layers of the onion. And a lot of news I'm sharing with you. Bitcoin sitting at 45, 4, 54, E, 22, 78, XRP at 56, 8, Sol, 95, 42, man, I don't know about 100, XLM right now at 11.7, Filecoin, ooh, pulling back a little bit, 550, HBAR, 7.9, Quant everyone, 114, Mango Farm Soul rug pulls for 2 million, a Solana yield farming project called Mango Farm Soul. Encourage people to deposit Solana tokens into the protocol to earn airdrops by January 10th. However, on the 6th, the project appeared to make off with all the tokens, about two millions worth. What's not good about it is they have since gone dark. Oh, that's not good. Mango Farm Souls profile on X and its website have gone dark. A Telegram channel with over a thousand subscribers no longer accepts messages. The loss is estimated nearly two million. Do you remember when Mango Markets was hacked and exploited? Was this name foreshadowing? Sadly, though, this stuff is going to continue to happen. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, girlfriend. Better not put this in the thumbnail or people might want to lynch me. Bitcoin price to decline in the next two weeks. Matrix Port, yeah. Matrix Port came out with yet another report. And I have it right here, as always, in the article you see. This video, along with all my other ones, will be linked in the description below. You can check out this report. I will have it down there. They talk about having into the years trading signals that now went red, marked it reluctantly hedge, Bitcoin's funding rate collapse, and technical vulnerabilities. Really interesting report here, but remember, Matrix Port is also the one that said that the ETF could increase the price of Bitcoin. So, hey, they're making money playing both sides of the aisle, aren't they? Bitcoin ETF buzz sends Bitcoin back to 45000 as open interest mounts. Yeah, but open interest, just so that everyone knows, is nothing as juicy as what it used to be. Here's the open interest chart right here. And let's just open this up in just a bigger window so you can see it. It's nowhere near what it used to be, all right, like a few weeks ago. I mean, you could tell, like, the closer we've gotten to the ETF action, open interest futures has just not been there. So we got to keep that in mind. We're going to talk all price action along with BTC here coming up real soon. But I want to share this with you. Ripple CTO and the XRP Army lock over the firm's massive stash. Ripple Labs Chief CTO. Oh, Chief Chief CTO? Way to go, Klaus. David Schwartz defended the company's recent XRP dump. The post by Schwartz follows increased chatter among crypto community members concerning Ripple's holdings. It says we continue to hold as much as we do or we can reduce the amount that we hold. There really isn't a third option. Well, actually, there was. See, Lear see it, right? You guys know who that is, Mr. Huber, who now, oh yeah, is not open to the public anymore. It's like, yo, you guys could burn it, couldn't you? And David's like, Ripple's got two choices. We can continue to hold as much as we do, or we can reduce the amount that we hold. There really isn't any third option. Ripple's original plan was to reduce our holdings as quickly as possible as we could. But people are like, well, yeah, but you know, like, 
what are you doing with it, though? And people are starting to ask these questions, and that's why I wanted to bring this up regarding Mr. Huber, because Mr. Huber said, hey, look, it's not that I'm anti-XRP. It's that as I peel back the layers of the onion, I don't like what I see. So you've got this whole spat out here with David Schwartz saying, look, I can't think of any other events that would lead to happening. It's remotely probable. I don't think it would have any real benefits. Basically saying, hey, even if we burn it, it's not going to help. Well, they might make people feel better. The original plan was to use most giveaways. Oh, interesting. But as soon as XRP had a market price, people would expend money to game the giveaways. And after a disaster skip cub giveaway, we had to stop. We tried a variety of other things, such as sales with lockups and using XRP incentives and partners, and we discovered that everything that worked was more or less no different than selling XRP. So we're more than 10 years into our plan, and we're about halfway there. So David Schwartz is defending the usage of XRP and how they're using it. Meanwhile, though, XRP price action just isn't juicy, and you've got some big proponents out there, and like I said going to be talking about Mr. Huber because you know Mr. Huber has been one of the biggest, biggest proponents of XRP out there. And now Mr. Huber, have you been reading the tweets as of late? Well, you got to get approved. See, I haven't gotten approved yet. Mine says pending even. Just changed it. Going a little quasi dark, restricting who can see the action. Mr. Huber is basically peeling back the onion saying, look, the more I research Ripple Labs and XRP, the, the less I'm happy with what I'm seeing. And there's something that I wanted to share with you in this is all coins tumble as Bitcoin holds steady on the ETF open. You got a lot of people out there saying, hey, look, you know, alts are going to moon. We're going to moon. Check this out, okay? This is performance of the market over the last 24 hours. And some people are going to give the heat map crap. They're like, oh, bro, the heat map is so lame. Dude, the heat map is great for visuals. Check this out. Because look what happens when you look at the market over the last week. Essentially, the entire market is red with a few outliers out here. With Bitcoin being the only one in green. So in the last week where, you know, we had all the big price correction, the alts corrected much, much heavier while Bitcoin did just the opposite and went green. So now all these people out there that are saying, hey, look, alts, we might be pumping. Not so much. Crypto markets tumbled this weekend as skittish capital fled altcoins, lopping $38 billion from the market cap since Friday. Of the top 100 cryptocurrencies, the biggest losers over the last 24 hours. IOTA, Axie, falling 10.8, 10.49.5, I mean, in Celestia. So you got some big losers showing up in the market. Bitcoin, meanwhile, is coming back, as you can see on the chart here, right? Bitcoin making more of its move. On the heat map, Bitcoin looks green. Now look what happens when we zoom out for the month. Okay, okay. Bitcoin's still in the green, XRP deep in the red. XRP Army's getting mad, it's understandable. Soul had the big pump, BNB had the big pump, ICP had the big pump, Say had the big pump, OP, Stax, Lido, Near, Arb. Look at all, but XRP, one of the few that are in the deepest, deepest red. XRP down 15%. What's worse than XRP in the last month? Doge at 21%. What about a little Casper? 20%. Rune, a little Litecoin action. So realistically, I think the XRP army has some very valid concerns and you're seeing some of the biggest supporters going, hey, this is just not cool. This is just not acceptable. We're getting all this news on fake ETF action. Bitcoin is doing its best thing here. And the more we zoom in, the stronger Bitcoin looks compared to the rest of the market. So maybe the ETF action is only going to prove for Bitcoin. You got Matrix Port coming out saying, look, some signals are flipping. We don't like what's happening here. We might see some retracement of Bitcoin, which we know would pull down the rest of the market. Meanwhile, XRP holders are like, yo, what are you guys doing with XRP that's actually helping the price? Because there are some winners out there over this last month, but the winner is in XRP. ICP, BNB, Sol, Avalanche, Lido, BSV, Say, Arbitum, Maker, Near Protocol. So this is really interesting because I've been following the crypto market now for several years quite closely. And you are seeing more negative sentiment show up. And it's not just that you're seeing the negative sentiment show up because people are tired of waiting for XRP to move. But it's in contrast that there's other projects out there that are moving, that are pumping. When, when you looked at the one month price action, you saw there were plenty of winners out there in that one month time period. In the XRP army, XRP fans 
are sitting there going, hey, look, you know, we've been dealing with this for how long? We've gotten some regulatory, like, regulatory clarity. Where's our juicy action? And, and it hurts more because now it's not just the whole market is red because you're seeing some green ones out there. So when you're red and you're seeing others that are green, you're like, oh, this really sucks. And people are going to be like, no, you know, hold on to the plan, wait for the plan, know the plan, trust the plan. Well, you're seeing prominent players out there like Mr. Huber who are like, yo, I have been a massive fan of XRP for a long time, but the more I dig into it, the less I'm happy with the performance of it. And more and more people are starting to say that. Now, gold market moving. Jewelry display, this awesome gallery I went to. Oh my God, check it out. That's this video right here. This is the second channel that it's found on right there. I'm keeping that coverage separate from crypto. You gotta check out that jewelry display. It was amazing. Some of these necklaces were like 10, 15, $20,000. Oh my gosh. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. I'm gonna finish my soup. You cool cats though. Have a great rest of your day.